basketball, 6'4", 330-pound Marvin Wilson, ranked as high as number one nationally among defensive line prospects, drew a national TV audience and a packed gym for his signing day announcement. A far cry from the days Wilson considered himself more a basketball player than a football guy. Marvin, you're going to be a heck of a football player. He said, Coach, I'm a basketball player. I said, Marvin, you're going to be a heck of a football player. He goes, I'm ranked 75th in the country. And I said, Marvin, you'll be number one in the country if you play football. And he goes, Coach, you'll have to talk to my mother. So we had that little conversation. Marvin's finalists included the likes of OU, Ohio State, and LSU. But it was the Florida State Seminoles that ultimately won out. I'm just a big relief, you know. I'm just going through it. All the coaches calling me, you know, my family wanting to know, you know. I just never knew till like probably about uh, about two days ago, I finally figured out where I was going. It was Florida State, you know. It's, just, it's a big lift off of my shoulders, and I could go back to being a normal player. With family ties to Louisiana, Marvin's decision was a surprise to some, and certainly a disappointment to LSU-bound Clavon Chason, who was on hand as well. In any case, the signing capped off an especially emotional recruiting journey for Marvin's entire family. Very emotional. Um, I went over to try to talk to the kids from ProVision and got emotional and I could talk to them like I am right now. Um, his decision, we've always supported him in whatever he chose. And him choosing Florida State, we're going to stand behind him 100%. You know, Jimbo came to my house and he gave me the greatest pitch, you know, just we're going to be a family environment. He's going to take care of me on and off the field. You know, we're going to do community service. We're going to do great things at the Florida State. You know, win national championships and be draft picks and be, be good after football's over with. You know, that's what he promised me and I'm going to take his promise forward. Marvin's signing was icing on the cake for an Episcopal class that also included the nation's number one offensive line prospect in Walker Little, who earlier had committed to Stanford. For Knights head coach Steve Lees, this was truly a celebratory event. Yeah, these could be first round draft picks. And the fun thing about it is, we, we say this is, we're gonna make a 30 for 30 out of these two right here. Uh, you know, they're, they're one and two in the country. Uh, they're one and one in the country for both linemen, offense and defensive side. They could go one and two in the draft, that'd be a lot of fun.